Frankfurt Airport has a big problem. It is running out of space. To solve this, the airport launched a $4 billion upgrade that's nothing short of spectacular. Imagine a terminal designed to handle 25 million extra passengers annually, covering 65,900 square meters. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. They faced waterlogged soil that turned the site into a temporary lake and the tricky problem of lifting a roof the size of two and a half soccer fields. The project also involved laying 90 kilometers of pipes and constructing ramps supported by 120 board piles, each up to 18 meters long. This isn't just an expansion, it's an engineering adventure. And this is the story of one of Europe's most expensive airport upgrades ever. The world was shaken by the aviation crisis of the century. Flights grounded, terminals emptied, and airports faced an uncertain future. But amidst this chaos, Frankfurt Airport embarked on a bold journey an ambitious $4 billion upgrade to future-proof one of Europe's busiest hubs. The story begins in the late 20th century. Frankfurt Airport's popularity was skyrocketing, with its two terminals struggling to handle 54 million annual passengers. By the 1990s, it was clear that this capacity wouldn't be sufficient for the future. Thus, the idea of a massive expansion was born. A new terminal to boost capacity by 25 million passengers annually. The chosen site was in the southern part of the airport, formerly home to an American military base that closed in 2005. The construction of Terminal 3 at Frankfurt Airport is a monumental task, planned in three distinct phases to accommodate future passenger demands. Each phase builds on the previous, ensuring a seamless expansion of the airport's capacity and infrastructure. The first phase is the most extensive, involving the construction of the main terminal hall, piers H and J, a new apron tower, and all the surrounding infrastructure. The initial step was to dig a 5.5 meter deep pit over an area of 65,900 square kilometers to lay the foundation for the main terminal building. This excavation was completed in six months, requiring the efforts of five excavators, three bulldozers, and countless trucks. At peak times, 5,500 cubic meters of earth were moved daily, equivalent to about 300 truckloads. The main terminal hall is designed with three zones. The upper floor of the first zone serves as the departure hall, directly accessible from the 11-meter-high, 500-meter-long drive-in platform. The lower floor is the arrival hall. Adjacent to the terminal is an eight-story parking garage with a capacity for 8,500 vehicles, including spaces for electric cars. This parking garage required the installation of 11,500 concrete slabs, each weighing five tons. These slabs were installed with precision to ensure stability and safety. Public transport access is ensured by the new Skyline train, a driverless double-track system connecting the airport's train station at Terminal 1 to the new terminal in just eight minutes. This allows passengers to reach Terminal 3 using public transport efficiently. The interior design features a wavy, reflective steel ceiling that uses daylight to create a unique shifting effect, enhancing the waiting experience. This room is another engineering marvel. Spanning 94 meters in length and 22.5 meters in width, it is constructed from pipes measured, cut, and bent on site. This on-site production reduces truck transport and accelerates installation. Piers H and J are constructed using a modular approach. Instead of being built as a single structure, they are made in short modules, allowing for easy extension when needed. Each pier has a slightly different interior design, but follows the overall vision of comfort and efficiency. Phase 2 focuses on constructing Pier G, which is designed to operate independently of the main terminal. This pier was fast-tracked due to rising passenger numbers and was completed ahead of the main terminal building. 
Phase 3 involves the construction of Pier K, which will be initiated based on future passenger demand. Like Pier G, Pier K will be built to integrate seamlessly with the existing terminal structure. The access and exit ramps, essential for smooth traffic flow, were another significant engineering feat. These ramps required the sinking of 120 board piles, each 1.2 meters in diameter and up to 18 meters long. These piles transfer the loads from the ramp to the subsoil, ensuring stability. The ramps themselves were constructed using steel composite structures, providing the necessary strength to support the complex bridge geometry required for traffic routing. In addition to the terminal and piers, the project includes a robust road network. A total of 10,000 meters of new roads will connect Terminal 3 to the existing airport infrastructure. The Zeppelinheim Junction on the A5 motorway is being expanded to handle the increased traffic, with new entry and exit ramps being constructed. This expansion involves the movement of 80,000 cubic meters of soil and the installation of 20 kilometers of supply lines. A new 142-meter-long motorway bridge is being built south of the current Zeppelinheim Junction. This bridge requires the installation of 71 board piles on both sides of the motorway and six more in the central reservation for additional stability. Construction involves the use of mobile cranes to lift steel elements and prefabricated slabs into place, which are then connected with mortar and steel pins. The power infrastructure supporting Terminal 3 is also being upgraded. A new substation was built, housing a 78-ton transformer capable of supplying electricity to a city of 30,000 inhabitants. This transformer reduces the electricity from 110 kilovolts of high voltage to a medium voltage of 10 kilovolts, ensuring a steady power supply for the terminal's operations. The project faced numerous challenges that tested the ingenuity and resilience of the construction team. During the excavation of the underground sections of the main terminal building, workers encountered a unique problem. As they dug deeper, they reached soil fully saturated with water, which resulted in flooding and eventually formed a small lake at the site. To address this, the team had to stabilize the bottom of the pit with concrete before pumping out the water. This task required specially trained industrial divers with purpose-built suits to dive to the bottom and oversee the concrete curing process. Another significant challenge was the construction of the massive roof, equivalent to two and a half soccer fields in size. The initial plan was to lift the roof in a single piece, using two cranes positioned on opposite sides of the building. However, the completion of Pier G in front of the main hall left insufficient space for this plan. Consequently, the construction team opted for a more time-consuming method, dividing the roof into five pieces. Each piece was individually lifted onto sleds as part of a supporting structure on top of the building. These sleds then moved each piece into its final position, a process that took more than six months to complete, requiring extreme precision. Building the drive-in platform also presented challenges. Achieving centimeter precision using equipment weighing up to 155 tons demanded meticulous planning and execution. Additionally, the integration of 90 kilometers of pipe systems into the terminal building required careful coordination to ensure seamless incorporation without disrupting other construction activities. Despite these formidable challenges, construction has progressed smoothly and according to schedule. When Terminal 3 opens in 2026, it will significantly impact both the airport and its surroundings. With an increased capacity to handle an additional 19 million visitors annually, traffic is expected to rise, yet waiting times are anticipated to decrease. Furthermore, the project will create thousands of job opportunities, adding to the airport's current workforce of nearly 81,000 employees. This ambitious project not only promises to transform Frankfurt Airport, but also exemplifies the power of innovation and determination in overcoming complex challenges.
If you enjoyed this look at the construction of Terminal 3, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications to stay updated with more insights into more projects.